welcome back to the channel today i want to talk about hades 2 the moonstone axes and one of the best builds i've had so far with it and actually potentially really ridiculously broken if you are lucky enough to get all the boons we are going to be talking about today but before we get into it make sure you hit that like button subscribe leave me a comment down below tell me what you think about the moonlight axes because i really like them they're very powerful except without enough range you're very vulnerable to being hit by enemies and in the later stages of the game that can be devastating however the charge or omega move for the attack button will allow you to spin to win you'll just keep spinning and keep spinning and keep spinning for a certain amount of time and then you'll do damage but with the right buffs and everything we're going to talk about you can just constantly spin all the time and just absolutely annihilate everything in your path until you get to chronos you don't know the fight and then you die <laughs> but up until that point for me and unfortunately i just entered the room with chronos with very little health i feel like if i had more health i probably would have been able to kill him with this build but we're going to talk about it so first and foremost i got very lucky that i spawned in with a daedalus hammer i took melting shredder because i didn't know what to expect i didn't know what build i was going with and i thought oh special destroys 35 percent of armor that will be very very helpful for me in the mid stages of this game i should have took psychic whirlwind during your attack your whirlwind attack you are free to use your normal attacks and specials this would have allowed me to be able to spin to win and also attack on top of that which would have given me incredible amounts of damage i was just very unfortunate that i got this daedalus hammer early and didn't know what kind of build i was making First and foremost, probably a must with this weapon in general, the Nova Strike. Your attacks deal more damage in a larger area. You're going to be doing more damage and you'll be able to hit from further range, which is very important, even just for the normal slash 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 slam um, combo you can do because it leaves you less vulnerable to being hit because you're further away. However, with the spin to win, this makes it really, really ridiculously powerful. And obviously you're spinning at a bigger circle, so you're going to hit more things more often and hit them harder definitely worth getting regardless of your build nova strike is very important for the moonstone axes next up and if you do want to make a spin to win build half gain is an absolute must you have to have this you're going to sacrifice 20 percent of your hearts but you will rapidly restore your mana your energy your magic you will never ever 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 have to worry about magic as soon as you spin to win once it instantly jumps back up to the top so you can just constantly keep spinning this is the main crux of what the spin to win build is so you are now constantly spinning you got a larger attack area and more damage and if i'd chosen the right thing from the hammer it would have been even more powerful now i'm going through the game as i unlocked them because it's just easier for me to follow so next up we have something for your cast which is gale force you'll create a cyclone at your cast circle which does damage every 2.5 seconds very very good and important where you can hold people in place cause damage to them while you walk away and charge up your spin to win attack which can take a little bit of a while to get to maximum 20 magic and obviously the more you invest in charging up the more damage and more spins it does so you want to be able to trap enemies cause a little bit of damage while you are there charging up very very important very very cool um, and you can mix that with another cast which we'll talk about in a while so next up is a completely RNG based element and that is the Arachne Silken Fineries armor that you can get. If you are lucky enough in the Spins of Wind build to get the Lavender Dress which you don a 30 plus armor outfit but it makes you channel 40% faster so you don't even have to walk away to charge up your attack. You could just hold it bang, hold it bang and just keep spinning and spinning and spinning. If you're lucky to get this, this absolutely makes it even better and so you run out of your armor when you get hit too many times but it's a lot of fun there's also other things that can make your charge better which i'm going to talk about a little bit later too but if you get lucky lavender dress will help you charge faster especially in those early levels i think it's really really important and fun as well next up the other cast ability boon that you need to get with this build is arctic rings 
your cast repeatedly deal damage in the area and inflict freeze so even if you trap people and they survive the cyclone they're also going to be taking damage from the freeze and also get frozen so you're just going to hold them in place so if they manage to survive all of that you've already charged up your spin to win and you're hitting them before they even know what's going on so all of these kind of work hand in hand and really really make the build a lot of fun and i feel like you know if you can get as lucky as i did with these boons you're going to have a very very fun time these are mainly based around demeter but there are some of our gods in there as well as you can see on screen demeter for me is one of my favorite in this game specifically whereas in the last game i didn't really enjoy her boons that much but epic in this game i love it so now the absolute top top boon for this build is weed killer which comes from demeter your omega attack deals more damage but uses plus 10 energy and it gives you 75% more damage plus as well you go behind the 20 max to 30 max which means obviously you're using more energy but you're doing incredible amounts of damage i was hitting cerberus sometimes with a full spin to win for 1200 health on real unbelievable and while we're finishing up and you can see footage in the background of all this build together working pretty well i just want to talk about hey these two weapons now in the original game there was at least four weapons that i really enjoyed using in this game they're very very weird weird weapons the wizard staff that you start with i think it's a wizard staff the little pokey thing that's pretty cool in my opinion that's an all-round good weapon except i never ever use the special side of it i feel like if i built into it and got some boons to help with the special it probably would be more fun but for the most part it's just slashing and charging up for the omega move and that works you know i'm not going to complain it works and it's fun the second weapon the little sister blade things for a melee close range attacking weapon, while it does a decent amount of damage, I feel like it could be even better or should be even better because you are close up taking damage, getting hit if you're not, you know, dodging enough. And the damage that you put out while good isn't good enough, in my opinion, to go against the other weapon that we just spoke about with the long range pokey stick, which does fairly decent damage on its own and with a couple of boons is on par with the damage that the blades put out so i feel like there needs to be a little bit of buff for the blades next up i want to talk about obviously the moonstone axes as we just spoke about while it's very good and powerful and a different style of play i feel like the slow animations just makes it too risky to use unless you get a really really disgustingly overpowered build i feel like for the most part from a normal build to a decent build it's going to very it's going to very much struggle very very much struggle even on like the first and second levels unless you're godlike at dodging and then there's the Argent Skull, which is, you know, if you're a little ways into the game, you're going to know what it is. And it's basically you throw skulls at people and you can get it buffed up to the point where I had it, where it lands next to people and continues to do like blasts and waves of attacks. But all in all, I feel like it's got good power. You can use it from range. It's fun. It's unique. It's different. I haven't yet found a really good build for it, but I think if you do... I reckon it probably will be the first time I beat Kronos is with that weapon. I might make a video on it for another video. But lastly, the little torches in this game, I can't even remember what it's called, but you hold two little torches and you throw out little circles that do spinny, spinny around you. I, can't, I can only explain it a bit like that. It's awful. It's god awful. I've only got one semi-decent build and that was just to put as much power and damage into the special attack the attack that spins around you make the balls bigger make them do scorch make them do more damage it covers so much of the screen that you can't see what's happening which means you're going to take a lot of damage because you cannot see where you are what you're doing so for the most part i feel like that weapon really needs to be tuned and changed but i'm very very happy with the weapons because they are different and unique but i really would love to see and i know they're going to make aspects for each weapon but i would really love to see the bow weapon from the last game come back or at least something similar to it because i feel like the game misses that kind of ranged bow-esque type attacking mechanisms while there are parts of each weapon that kind of live up to that to have a weapon solely based on you know bow range attacks i feel like needs to be in the game unless i'm missing something maybe there's another weapon i haven't unlocked yet but i really really do want to see it but anyway 
that's the build that's the video hope you enjoyed it let me know what you think down below tell me your comments on your favorite builds for whatever weapon and then i might try and emulate it and see what i can do with that build too but anyway thank you for watching i've been easy now you guys have been awesome